Another day, another double din, this time fitted into a Porsche Boxster. If you Porsche fans, this is a 987 Gen 1. Uh, for people that aren't Porsche fans, this is a 2008 Porsche Boxster. Now let's show you what we have done. If I turn it around to the dashboard, here we go. That's the Kenwood DMX 8020 seven inch touchscreen installed. Let's give it some juice. Color matched fascia. And the first thing you're gonna notice is the Porsche logo, which we've been, we've actually loaded on that to ourselves. Nice little touch, keeps it more in keeping with the vehicle. Let's wait for the disclaimer to appear, which will automatically disappear after 10 seconds, but I'm gonna speed it by just hitting agree. Now, the most important thing that people want on these units is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now, this one's wireless, so I'm gonna show you how to connect your phone wireless CarPlay on this model, really easy. So what you do first is you touch the telephone button on the screen. That'll come up, it's ready for the Bluetooth. So you go on your phone, let's hit Bluetooth, scroll down to the bottom. Let's get my screen to focus, there we go. So we then we hit DMX8020. We then hit pair. We hit yes on the screen. It'll then say, do you want to allow your contacts to sync? You say yes. And then all we next is use CarPlay. Hit use CarPlay. And then on the screen, do you want to start a CarPlay? You hit yes. And then you wait for it to do its handshake via Bluetooth and then it will switch to Wi-Fi and then vamoose, up comes the screen. There we go. So there's Apple CarPlay's appeared. Now you've got most commonly requested uh, apps are SatNav apps. So you've got Apple Maps, you have Google Maps, you have TomTom um, Tom Go if you pay for it, and you've got Waze. And then you've obviously got your music apps like TuneIn Radio, UK Radio. If you had um, Spotify and Deezer, they would appear, but I actually use Tidal, there's Tidal. So pretty much all your music apps and navigation apps, and you also got split screen, so you could have Navi on the left and your music on the right, which is quite a nice little touch. There you go, just like that. So push the home button now. So you've got the, the normal mod cons like DAB radio, FM radio, uh, USB connectivity. Now USB connectivity in this is, we've hidden all the cables and routed them all the way underneath all this centre console. And they're just there poking out nice and neat, nice and short. So customer can leave their smartphone in this area here out of the way if they want to charge their phone at the same time. But yeah, jobs are good in. Lots more content to come, lots more Kenwood installations to come. So yeah, keep an eye on our channel. This is Connor signing off from John Cleese. See you later.